Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQR Diagnostics and Repair, where my job is to save you money. This morning I'm working in 2019. It looks nice if you can, like, but even that, it takes money, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. And oh. if you put a good finish on it, and it's nice and shiny. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the window regulator on the passenger side. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to use a thin <laughs> screwdriver, okay, and you're going to pop here, uh, pop it loose, this cover, that's going to expose that bolt right there. Next, right here, you're going to have a little uh, area that you can use a screwdriver to pop this loose, kind of like this. You're going to pull and it's going to come up, just like that. All right. Here, one up. Twist. Oh. Right there. Just gonna press. Press this here there. To press and pull. That's one. Now here, you're gonna have another cover over here. So we're going to remove. You can't put any of the tile in Glenn's office. That tile has to come out here. No, right here in the bottom. There's a little area there. Can you make it a video of your car? That it is uh, open. So we can do this. Like this. <clears throat> That's what I meant. Right there. So just pop it. Let's put it there. So I'm gonna remove one, two, and should be able to pry this out of the way. Let me see. Okay, this is a 932 millimeter. So use the trusty angle walkie tool. One. To both, both at the same length. Mm, very good. And I recommend her because she did my house and I love it. Okay. So. That's nice. That's awesome. You know, we're going to remove this right. one too. Can't remember exactly. Right. These are three the same. It's nothing here. And then these are going to be. So one of my friends is a woodworker. Uh -huh. Give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, so yes, I only have to remove one, two, three bolts, disconnect the, the connector, and we're gonna use one of this. You can start right here in this corner because this door panel is really into it, especially when it's new, those clips, they're gonna keep this, I already break it loose here. Okay, you, you just do this and it's gonna start popping. Now that it's all loose, you're gonna lift, lift and pull towards you, or towards the back of the car, whichever way you want to look at it. So is that a clear, there you go comes out now before you keep moving here you're gonna have this weather strip here or the dust hold it because in time if you don't remove it right you're gonna uh, hold it you're going to like be having a hard time trying to install it again that happened to me once and I learned now the next thing before you start walking away you have to remove cable here so you're gonna click you're gonna press depress kind of hard to do one hand okay this is gonna go off pull back and pull out give me a second use this And this come out. There you go. Keep holding this. 
There you go. We want to do our bathroom in that giant glossy tile that looks like the universe. Oh, the, we were. Oh my god. That's exactly. What it's it. so pretty. <laughs> exactly what I want to remove the bathtub and just. Yep. Oh. Now this Whole is going to stay right there. I'm going to put this thing over here for a second. That should stay. Cool. Now, we're almost there. We have to remove this weather cover. So that way when it rains, water doesn't go inside the door panel and damage the door panel. Okay, here we can use a little razor blade to remove this. Oh, never mind, it's coming nicely. Just be gentle. this. I remember to reinstall it. You can bring breakfast. You can bring us breakfast. So this one will happen. The 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 main clip that attached. Ah, uh, the. What about the? Red Mountain. My my regular, eggs. Bacon. Bacon, scrambled eggs, hash brown. White toast. Cool, thank you. What do you want for breakfast? I'm going to Red Mountain. Oh, that's fine. Thank pork chop breakfast. Pork chop breakfast. I, do you want breakfast? Oh, no, I'm okay. Very mm -hmm. happy breakfast. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. It's a healthy good one. <laughs> I'm making a video. I was talking about that uh, healthy, uh, pleasant surprise was about you. I thought you were talking to yourself. I always talk to myself, especially when I'm filming. <laughs> well, I'm talking to YouTubers too, but anyhow. So, now we're going to disconnect this part. This connector, you just press there. Okay, that goes there. And you will see what I was trying to, to say when it comes to this. Uh, okay, let's remove the whole thing here. because it's gonna come out nicely this tape now we're gonna bring it down a little bit 
because we want to make sure we release the, the mirror, the window, I mean, the glass right there, that clip right there, we have to push to release the glass. Yes, it's hard to do with one hand, but you guys get the idea. All right, don't worry. Every time I talk to you guys, I'm working on it. There you go. Now, I can pull up again. And we're gonna use the tape again to reinstall it, to hold it there. See? Awesome. We kind of like recycling. Which I think is pretty cool. That's it. Now we gotta remove this again. Now this is should slide down and it's gonna come out. Ta-da! Right here, this is what happened. This snap out of the plastic here, and this just, the window just goes down. Cool. So hopefully you saw it. So I'll go like this, pull, and a slide out. I'm gonna bring the other one here. This is a new part. Always want to make sure that they match, look the same. So it looks like the same now. Very important. Look at the connector. On some occasions they change the connector and you put it all the way and you cannot connect it and you have to remove it. And that can be like frustrating. So be aware of that. Let's see if we get a part number here. You guys, some of you guys are gonna ask about it. Nope, no part number. Oh, uh, there it is, there it is. I was lying again. I mean, cut on camera. That's a part number. Move it if you wish, so it's easy that way. This bolt come on one. It's right here. I'm gonna install it again. Move. Bring it here. There you go. on the top perfect so I gotta clean my hand clean it. Now we're gonna go very careful, get the window down, so that way we can get it latch. Let's remove all the tape here. Like 
that. Now, as you can see, that hole is going to slide down. You got to press, and it's going to. There you go. Snap in place. And we're pretty much done here on this area. Now we gotta start putting it together. One thing that I recommend before you put everything back, make sure you connect it. Everything is snug here. A little bit. Snug. Snug. What we're gonna do, we're gonna Turn the key on, roll the window up all the way to make sure when it's all the way up, the regulator is gonna sit in place. Same time, it can be a little bit off for that little extra plate, the, the size of the holes there. So it can be twi twisted a little, just enough to get the regulate the, the window going up. It struggle a little bit. We wanna try to minimize all the extra pressure. Ignition is on. We're gonna just reconnect. So now it's all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Hey, I like it. Somebody's happy. <laughs> hey, I like happy people. Yeah. There you go. So anyhow, hopefully that music doesn't get copyright <laughs> the video. <laughs> we like, really? Dang it! Anyhow, well, now it's all the way up. It went nice and straight, so we're just going to tie them up. And guess what? Now we're going to test it again. Nice, smooth, no struggle. Perfect. All right, so now we just got to put everything back. So this is tight, tight, tight. Got that right. Rain stole this. Remember, this goes right here. Be the interesting part putting it back here. Now we can put them on. Try my airbag. 
back. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do here. Number one, we gotta reinstall this, remember. One, pull, and release it, and it's gonna catch, done. Right there. This, gotta go through here. Now this area, I gotta go tilt, push in, so that with this corner, this little piece of trim, is gonna go behind, right there. Like that, like, there you go, like that. Okay, because this bar have to go over that bar. Like I said, I'm sorry if it, you can't see it really well. So this bar, I gotta go over this trim right here. Okay, so let's let's get this thing done. There you go. That's there. Now we have to line up that with that, which now we have this part already in. So we can pull here and guide it. Now keep pushing towards the window and remove. Okay. Sometimes happens. This thing sometimes happens. There it is. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. Now we press down here. And pretty much the door now is gonna stay by itself. Don't have to worry about it. Here's lining up nice. Okay, this is exposed. This doesn't go any further down. That is lined up there. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna give, start giving a little gentle push. And wanna just don't force it. So we can start getting things nice in place. Hold on, and one of this, I wanna use this, one of the clips, stay it here. So we're going to remove it and reinstall it on the door. So that way the door can snap back in place once more. So keep it down, like that, nice. Nice, like it, right here, through the opening, hopefully you guys can see that, we can kind of push with the, to line them up with the holes there, so that way everything can get in place, and we're gonna do the same thing all the way underneath. Sorry, I can hold the camera, do the things I wanted that far. here it's a little bit an opening so sorry if I give you my back oh, that is close let me see perfect all the way there now I'm gonna put those the, uh, the bolt, the little tiny bolt, put one, two, and three. One, two, all three bolts are the same length, so you don't have to worry about it. snap back in place same thing with this you only can put it one way push it down the last bar stall it pull snap 
this area go lash there now gentle push down snap in place and guess what I did it wrong this gotta go first cool now this goes in there is now this goes on top then those nice and clean we didn't we did not scratch anything close nice and smooth yeah that's the way it's supposed to be so make sure we take all the tools out of the vehicle let's test it one more time how you replace window regulator and motor as an assembly on a 2019 Chevy Impala four-door automatic and once again if you like the video if you learned something from it please subscribe to the channel share the video comment I will do my best to reply to respond to your comments and as always do your best forget the rest God bless and I'll see you in the next video later